Welcome to Slapsmith's Live Scan Module. The Live Scan Module provides the fastest and the easiest method for completing a physical inventory of your slabs and remnants. With Live Scan, spreadsheets and tedious wandering through your warehouse looking for slabs is a thing of the past. Live Scan will help you to correct any mistakes, update your slabs locations, and give you the peace of mind to know exactly what you have in stock and where it is. LiveScan uses a Windows tablet for its interface and a barcode scanner to collect data. You always know what you have scanned, what you haven't scanned, when a slab's location changed, and it finds those missing slabs you didn't even know you had. The first page of the LiveScan interface is the Data Collection tab. This consists of a summary of your scans, a list of the scans you have taken, a picture and the properties of the slabs you have scanned, as well as controls for manual entry and committing the needed changes to correct your Slabsmith database. The second tab is the Not Scanned tab. When you begin, this tab lists all of the slabs that the Slabsmith database expects are currently available in your inventory. The next tab, Location Changed, will list any slab location changes that were detected during the scanning process. The fourth tab, Not Expected, will list slabs you have scanned that were mistakenly consumed out of your inventory and whose status needs to be changed back to Received. The Unknown tab lists scans that are unknown to your Slabsmith database. You may have scanned a manufacturer's barcode by mistake. The last tab, Configure, establishes a Bluetooth connection between your barcode scanner and the tablet you're using to take inventory. Let's start by configuring a barcode scanner. To do this, select the Configure tab and then click Next. Now scan the barcode displayed on your tablet's screen. After the scanner beeps once, select Next. Scan the second barcode, wait for two beeps, and your scanner is connected and you're ready to go. Before we begin scanning inventory, let's look at the summary area of the Data Collection tab. This database is showing 25 slabs in stock. There have been no slabs scanned yet. There are also five slab locations within this database. We'll switch to the Not Scan tab to get an idea of the current state of this simplified slab inventory. For the purposes of this overview, we organize the slabs with five slabs in each location. The first five in location R01, the next five in R02, and so forth. Let's switch back to the Data Collection tab and start scanning inventory. To begin the process, scan a location. After scanning a location, scan each of the slabs in that location. The location and the slabs will show in the local scan list in the middle of the screen. As you scan each slab, its image and its properties will also be displayed. Now let's suppose that slab 16, which the database shows in location R02, was moved to location R01. We'll scan slab 16, and now the location tab has an asterisk to show that something has changed. By selecting the tab, we can see that slab 16's location will be moved from R02 to R01 when the changes are committed to the database. Moving back to the data collection tab, we'll continue to scan the remaining locations and slabs. As the scans are completed, the summary is updated to show our progress. All locations and slabs have now been scanned. However, the summary shows that one slab has not been scanned. By switching to the Not Scanned tab, we can see that slab 35 was expected, its status is received, but it hasn't been scanned. The most likely reason for this is that the slab was processed but not consumed out of inventory when processed. To correct this error, we will select the slab and mark it to be consumed when changes are committed. Now, if we look at the Not Expected tab, we'll see that it has an asterisk, indicating a change. In this case, slabs 36 and 37 are shown as consumed in the database, but they were just scanned, so they are definitely still in stock. We'll flag them to be changed back to receive when the changes are committed. The current location, now R05, will also be updated for both slabs. To complete the process, we'll switch back to the Data Collection tab 
and commit these changes to the database. And that's it. Your SlabSmith inventory is now correct. <laughs>